What's going on everyone? This is John G, aka Mr. Go In. And today, oh, we are going in on this topic. Calories, right? Does it matter? Is a calorie just a calorie? Let's dive into it. I always hear people saying, oh, it doesn't matter what you eat as long as you burn calories, you're gonna lose weight. Or you really hear this one a lot. I just burned four, 500, 600 calories at the gym on the elliptical on the Stairmaster. I want some ice cream, I deserve it. Does that really work? Is it effective in trying to lose weight? So there was a study that was done that tried to answer some of those questions. Basically what they were looking at is, once you're eating in a caloric surplus, does it really matter what you're eating in terms of the macro breakdown when looking at how much of those calories were stored as fat? We can all agree, when you're eating in a caloric surplus, you're gonna gain weight. Some of that weight is going to be fat. So the study had two groups, and they broke the groups down into group one. Their excess calories were all in carbs. Group two, excess calories was all in dietary fat. So all carbs, all fat. And what they did was they measured how much of those calories were stored as fat after two weeks and after four weeks for both groups. So what do you think? So after two weeks, group one, the group that ate all the carbs, 10% of those calories were stored as fat, okay? Group two that ate fat, 60% of those calories were stored as fat after two weeks. Interestingly enough, after four weeks, the carb group, 85% of those calories were stored as fat. The fat group, 95% of those calories were stored as fat. So what's the moral of the story? Don't eat fat? No, that's not the moral. Don't you just love when people just jump to the wrong conclusions and assumptions and it's like, no, that's not what I said. That's not what the study is saying. The moral of the story is if you don't want to gain weight, don't be in a caloric surplus. Now this is, you know, assumes a healthy metabolism, blah, blah, blah. But if you're not trying to gain weight, you don't want to be in a caloric surplus. After that, then if you're eating excess calories, you're better off eating carbs as opposed to fat. But that makes sense because carbs are really, you know, the first thing that the body taps into for energy, you know, because it's converted into glucose, because those carbs are converted into glucose, or it's converted into glycogen and stored in your muscles or your liver, and basically used for later. And you'll notice that bodybuilders often refeed with a high carb day when they've been in a caloric deficit for a long time. So. Also, another moral of the story is, if you're trying to do a refeed, the best utilization is probably not a large pepperoni pizza, or double pepperoni pizza. So you're gonna probably, probably wanna stick to higher carbs. Now, before you keto people jump on me, I will say, the only thing that would have made this study better is if they had a third group, and they had like called this group like the keto group, because their you know, bodies are already fat adapted, and have that group eat excess fat in terms of their uh, caloric surplus calories and see if it differed from the other group that ate excess fat. Uh, I suspect it would be a little different. However, I still think the results would be, you know, carbs are better than fats in terms of excess. Anyway, that's just an assumption. If somebody wants to do that as their thesis, be sure to shout me out in the reference. Anyway, but again, you know, People's bodies are different. I would say look to see how your body adapts and changes based on what you're eating, how much of it you're eating. I can attest that my body sort of fits with the, with the survey because in the off season, I increased my fats quite a bit and I actually gained a lot more fat than I intended to, but I still, you know, cut it down in time for the show and all that. So it was still all good. Anyway, let's wrap this up. If you like this video, be sure to hit like on the video and be sure to hit subscribe. Till next time. In terms of how much body fat, dang it, I was on a roll. Uh, so the study had two, this one, this one. So the study, sorry if I ruined ice cream for you.
you can eat it just you know keep it in moderation keep your calories you know just stay at maintenance you'll be good anyway uh that being said and basically what they were looking at is <laughs> i think that's it